Now, let's talk about profile and persona in seven simple steps to direct selling. What does that mean, profile and persona? One of the things we need to do to really stay positive when selling is to focus on people who are gonna buy our product or who are more likely to say yes than no. What we don't wanna do is waste our time with people who simply don't want to buy our product. Too often I see people trying to sell to others who simply don't want it. They don't bother to qualify who they're talking to. They think the world is their market. And if that's your thinking, that's a big mistake. We gotta hone in on people who are more likely to say yes than no. If we do so, it will also shorten our sales cycle. What is a sales cycle? A sales cycle is how long it takes you to close the deal. From first contact to closing the deal, how much time is that? So let's say that today you have a sales cycle of 30 days. From first point of contact to closing the deal, it takes 30 days. Well, guess what? If we qualify high value target customers, people who fit our profile and persona, maybe we can shorten that to 50 to 15 days. Isn't that what you want? That's what I would want. So let's talk about who is the ideal profile and persona. Let's talk about the word demographic. Demographic is a fancy way of saying these are some characteristics of people who are more likely to say yes to no to our product or service. So let's look at one aspect of it. For example, maybe we want to target people who are at a certain income level. If they make above a certain amount, we want to talk to them. If they make below a certain amount, we don't want to talk to them. That's one way of defining your market, your profile and persona. Also age. Maybe your product is geared towards a certain age. Maybe people who are 50 and above. How about marital status? Maybe people who are married are more likely to say yes than people who are single. Get the idea? How about gender? Maybe your product is more geared towards women as opposed to men. We need to know this. How about geography? Where they're located, where they live may impact whether they say yes or no. Well, how about this one? What if these people are in debt? If they're in debt, guess what? They're not going to want to buy your product. So maybe we want to try to find people who are doing well in their business or in their lives. Get the idea? What you need to do is begin to develop this persona, this profile of the ideal customer you want to sell to. And then what you have to do is be disciplined and vigilant to look for only those people. The temptation is always to try to sell to everybody. Big mistake again. Very big mistake. Let's hone in on those people who are more likely to buy. So the exercise for you right now is to lay out the ideal demographic profile and persona of your ideal client. Keep that profile in mind when you go forward selling. This is the person we're selling to and when we talk about the product value, putting together a presentation, we're going to gear that presentation to that ideal profile. So go ahead, do the exercise, write out what are the demographics, the characteristics, features of the ideal client we're trying to sell to. After that, let's go to the next audio in this series. Here we go.